What's going on guys? Today I've got one of the best tweaks that I've probably ever reviewed. This one's called IntelliScreen X. It's 10 bucks from the Mod My Eye repo, but you can get a free trial. It lasts for three days, so go ahead and at least install the free trial, and that way you can play around with it and see if you like it. Uh, but this is 10 bucks well spent. This is really the reason why we jailbreak our iPhones. So go ahead and give that a download. So IntelliScreen X is a notification center tweak. Well, really, it's the notification center tweak because there's nothing that this tweak doesn't have. So right away, you notice that I've got the date and time, plus I've got a feed over here that toggles between your RSS feeds, Facebook, and Twitter. And then you've got your weather a little bit further down, so right now it's just set. So it'll give you the one day forecast, or it'll give you a six day forecast. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, you can see it's basically just the regular uh, notification center that's built into iOS 5, but you can definitely go ahead and customize that however you like. If I swipe to the left, you can see my mail. So I've just got this set so that it shows all of my mail. And then if you swipe to the right here, you've got your Facebook feed. And this, you can just tap on that button to authorize that with your Facebook account. And that way you can actually make posts and check statuses and whatnot directly from your notification center. So that's a really nice setting in this uh, tweak. Scroll to the right again and you've got Twitter so you can see all of the most recent tweets from everyone that you're following. Plus you can go ahead and just tap on that plus button and select tweet and you can just tweet directly from your notification center. And finally when you just go ahead and scroll to the right one more time, you've got your RSS feed. So this is really nice and customizable. I'll show you all the settings that you can uh, adjust your RSS feed with a little bit later. Um, but one of the best features of IntelliScreen X is the ability to tap on this icon on the bottom right hand side. Basically IntelliScreen X comes with uh, messages plus built in so you can just tap on this message icon and you can send a message to whoever you want, anyone from your um, contacts or you can just put in a number right there and you can send a message from your notifications and IntelliScreen X is accessible from any application because it's built directly into the notification center. So awesome tweak overall. Let me show you some of the settings here. So if you just go ahead and go to the home screen, you can see that after you install IntelliScreen X, you'll get this little application icon. And really that's just a shortcut to your settings application. So if you just go to settings, and scroll down till you get to IntelliScreen X, then that'll be the exact same thing as if you were to tap that home screen icon there. So there it is. So you can set the look and feel of things like your mail in your notification center. So here I've got my uh, title color is blue, my message color is white, and it shows two lines per email. So I can just go ahead and open my notification center. And so you can see right there that I've got the blue uh, titles, the white regular message text, and everything else is set so that it's two lines per email. And then you can choose which email email accounts you actually want to feed from in that mail section in your notification center. So right now I've got, I've got like nine emails and only five of them are set. So I don't have to see all the emails that I get from work or from iCloud or anything else. I can just see the ones that are most important to me. So that's your mail settings there. If you just bounce into Facebook, you've got the same kind of settings here. So you can set your title color, um, your subtitle color, message color, and so on. So how many lines for your preview. And if you scroll down a little bit further, then you've got some refresh settings. Easiest way to refresh of course is to just go to whatever you feed you want and just pull down on your notification center and that'll refresh automatically but you can set the refresh settings to whatever you want as well and of course you can always deauthorize your Facebook account or set a different Facebook account if you want bounce it to Twitter very similar settings on Twitter you can change your title color message color and the number of lines for your preview scroll down you've got refresh settings and you can actually set uh, your push notifications for your Twitter feed as well. And then of course you can toggle which account that you want uh, to be connected. So that's Twitter. Let's just bounce into the RSS reader settings here. Again, you can change your title color, your message color, your refresh settings. But here are the most important settings for your RSS reader. So you can change the number of items you want per feed. So if I just open my notification center here, scroll to my RSS feed, you can see that even though there's over 10 items here, I've only got two enabled in my notification center, which is nice. So that way it doesn't get cluttered. And that way you can see um, more news from all of your RSS feeds rather than a whole bunch of news from one or two RSS feeds. So I've got Mod My Eye, iDownload Blog, iDev Team, and of course at the very top, Jailbreak City. So I'll show you how to add the Jailbreak City RSS feed and how to add any feed to your notification center with IntelliScreen X. So you can go ahead and just tap on Add Feeds here and choose from a bunch of uh, feeds that it gives you by default. So you can choose whatever ones you want here. You've got CNN and 
uh, New York Times and whatnot. Or you can add your own custom feed if you know the feed URL. You can just go ahead and tap add RSS feed and that'll look that up and try to add it for you. So once you've added the feed you wanted, you can just tap on it to select it or you can just untap it to deselect it. And if you've got some feeds that you don't think you'll use, you can just tap on edit and get rid of them. So I'm not a New Yorker. So I'll take away the New York Times there. Now beyond your mail, Facebook, Twitter, and RSS feeder, there really are a ton of different options that you guys can play around with. So I'm gonna skip over some of those and show you some of the important things like your status bar icons, your messages settings, and your calendar notifications. So if you have any missed calls or unread SMS messages, emails, or if you're on silent mode, then it'll notify you in your status bar, as you can see right there with my mail icon. You can customize your messages options. So right now I'm using Messages Plus, but if you had Byte SMS, then you can set Byte SMS instead of Messages Plus. And finally, you can set your calendar notifications like events and reminders. So unlike the default notification center that comes in iOS 5 where you can only see up to a day or two of events or reminders in advance, you can actually go up to two months with IntelliScreen X. And your last options are adjusting your lock screen alert behavior. And of course, you can always restore to default. So that is an overall look of IntelliScreen X. I did a bit of a low level look so you guys can really get a sense of what's going on with this $10 application. Make sure to check this one out because there is a free trial like I said before. So if you like it or even if you think that you might like it, go ahead and install that free trial. You can play around with it, have fun with it, customize it to your liking. So I definitely recommend this one. And Telescreen X is 10 bucks from the Mod My Eye repo. So make sure to check out the most recent videos, especially the one on Messages Plus if you're interested in Telescreen X on the left there. And as always, for more themes, tweaks, news, and reviews, check out jailbreakcity.com. This is Justin from jailbreakcity.com, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.